Okay. Now we got the cooling system flushed out. We got the acid flushed out of it with clean water. And we've put half and half antifreeze mix back in it. I use this hose that I cut and spliced as a purge. So I ran it and I'm going to let it cool off. And then I'll take this back apart, open it up, and if there's an air bubble in there, I'll pour uh, antifreeze directly in there to fill that up. And I also filled the overflow up, so if there's any air bubbles that work their way to the overflow when it cools, it will draw that back into the cooling system. A uh, few things that I made notes on and wanted to make sure and mention to you. Um, watch your temperature gauge, temperature gauge during this whole process. Don't overheat your engine. Uh, that's just a bad day. Uh, drain from the bottom radiator hose if it's off the radiator or if it's off the block, whichever is easiest to get to for you. I wasn't real specific about exactly what I was doing and what tools I was using uh, to get the radiator hoses off and back on and that type of thing because you can do this to any vehicle. It's not specific to Jeep Cherokees. So what you may need to use may be different than what I need to use. Um, fill from the top hose. When you're, when you're filling back up, when you're flushing uh, the acid out, uh, putting the acid in, flushing the acid out, uh, filling with uh, antifreeze and water, fill in the top radiator hose first. It just goes in a lot faster. And um, when, you're, when you're doing your final fill with antifreeze and water, put your top radiator hose or fill from your top radiator hose and fill until coolant runs out of the radiator cap when it starts running out of the radiator cap put the cap on real quick fill it the rest of the way up and uh, run it and purge it uh, run your engine when you do the final filling of coolant run your engine until uh, the thermostat opens. The easy way to tell when your thermostat opens, one, you get the operating temperature on your gauge, and two, uh, where your radiator hose is closest to your engine, it'll get a little hot there, but it won't get hot over here next to the uh, radiator until the thermostat opens, because then when the thermostat opens, the water flows through this hose and down into your radiator. So it won't get hot over here until the thermostat opens. So the easy way to check that is, is hold it right here, and when it gets so hot you can barely hang on to it it's open okay um, rinse the motor off because if you leave antifreeze on your motor somewhere uh, it'll get hot and it'll start to smell and it may, may, may inaccurately make you think you've got an antifreeze leak so rinse it with water there are some brands of vehicles that are not very tolerant of water under the hood jeep cherokees are not one of those you can just you can put one of these things under water and it'll still be right um, there's one of those brands, it's one of those inferior brands, it starts with an F, and I can't remember the name of it, but they're real susceptible to water under the hood. If you've got one of those vehicles, uh, you don't want to spray water just indiscriminately under the hood because they are very particular about that. Um, I'm grimy. This is what happens when you work, when you do things for yourself. It's not a sin, it's not lethal. Uh, learn to do things for yourself. That's why I'm running this channel is to teach people how to do the things that I've learned to do in my life for myself, be it firewood, working on a car, uh, modifications to equipment or tools or um, things you can do with guns to make them more user friendly. We'll get to that. Um, we will get to a video on my generator for my house and I also built a wood burning water heater. Um, just there's a dozen ways to skin a cat. I know a few of them. I'll teach you. If you know something better, hey, run with it. If it works, teach me something. Um, hand cleaner. Believe it or not, the greatest hand cleaner in the world, the greatest hand cleaner that I have ever found to get this stuff off of you is Dawn and baking soda. If you will put, um, if you want to mix up a jar of it, uh, put half a cup of baking soda in a jar mix dawn in it till it's a thick paste and dawn's the only one that really works right 
uh, I don't know the only dishwashing liquid. Mix Dawn in it until it's a thick paste, and then uh, once you get a thick paste and it's fully mixed up, you can thin it with a little bit of water to make it easier to use. Um, but it takes very little of it. If you're used to the hand cleaner, the big name brand hand cleaners, it will take about a third as much of baking soda and Dawn to clean the same amount of grease off of you. And there's no chemicals, there's no toxins, it's not. It's not anything bad for you. It won't hurt you. Um, baking soda, Dawn makes you know, makes a wonderful hand cleaner. So anyway, that is how to flush a radiator heater core or your entire cooling system. Have a great day.